Normal breathing relies on air moving into and out of the lungs through the respiratory system, driven by a pressure gradient created by the elastic forces from movement of the respiratory muscles of the chest wall and of the diaphragm. Most work is done by the diaphragm, though during exercise or respiratory distress, the muscles of the chest wall, the external intercostal muscles and accessory muscles of breathing also contribute. On inspiration, the diaphragm moves down then the respiratory muscles contract to expand the chest such that air comes rushing into the airways, bronchi, bronchioles and finally into the alveoli for gas exchange. Expiration is a comparatively passive process, driven by elastic recoil within the lungs and diaphragm, though when ventilation is increased, for example during exercise, the intercostal and abdominal muscles also contribute. The resting position for the lung is at the end of expiration. The graph of intrapleural pressure plotted against lung volume can be useful to help understand the relationship between the pressure changes in the respiratory system and lung volume. The graph shows that as the pressure gets increasingly negative, as the diaphragm moves down and respiratory muscles pull outward on the chest wall, air enters the lung and lung volume increases. The same happens in reverse on expiration. Lung volume decreases as the pressure becomes less negative and air flows out of the lungs. This is an important concept to understand when considering mechanical ventilation, which is positive pressure ventilation. So instead of air being sucked in down a pressure gradient, it is blown in under positive pressure.